is impressive, they've determined the resulting destruction is less than lethal. So, what next? It might break a rib, but it's not going to kill you. Well, Adam has chanced upon a cutting-edge resource called the, er, uh, Internet. It's amazing. It turns out that physics teachers have been getting incredible acceleration out of ping pong balls without using 80 foot long barrels. And I think it's a method that we should investigate immediately. Okay, cool. That's working all right. What they've been doing is they've been taking a 36 inch long tube of PVC and they've been putting a ping pong ball in one end. Then they put packing tape over each end of the tube and they use a vacuum to draw a full vacuum in that tube. Okay. Here we go, pulling the vacuum. Then, when they pierce that side, of course, air wants to rush in to fill the vacuum, but the ping pong ball's in the way. So it starts to move forward. Just everyone back off a little bit. There's nothing in its way in terms of air because there's a vacuum. And so it bursts out of this side at something over 300 miles per hour. That's the theory. Here we go. Whoa! Holy <laughs> Oh, man. That was really good. <laughs> I didn't expect it to work that well. The three-foot prototype worked scarily well. Popping the sealed vacuum caused a sudden influx of air, and the pressure differential sends the ball rocketing. And after a few technique tweaks... One. One. And a double barrel length... One. Adam measures wow. rocketing at... 375 miles an hour. That is mighty respectable. Respectable enough to be the new ping-pong projectile power of choice.